moment I'm working on making this gear here on the shape because my dividing head cannot make 48 divisions with the plate I have. So I use my best friend here. In the back here is of course installed also a 48 tooth gear that's running on a rack. And while the table is moving, the whole thing is spinning and that's what creates the envelope of the gear teeth. Right, I've just finished cutting all the teeth. Let's take it out of here and see what we've got. Looks like a gear to me. And it seems to work. So I think that's a good result. Now I think if you have a shaper, it should be a good idea to give this thing a try. Now, of course, if you have your shaper since yesterday and you never touched a shaper before in your life, this is maybe not the very first project you will make. But I think it's really interesting. You make a gear plank and install it on the spinny thing shaft here. And this one is only pressed on no key, nothing. Of course you can install a key or a little bolt or whatever. Now, because it's a press fit, of course I can't push it on, but I'm sure you've got the point. The cutting forces of the shaper are this way. So the whole gear blank will be pushed against this plate here. And the gear we're gonna copy is this one. Of course, exactly same diameter and all same. Now this one is a bit larger, but that's not important. And in here is a little key and this one comes here. And while moving left and right with the gear rack that comes here, the thing spins. That's all. Next step is now to cut off this teeth, make a shoulder and then bore out this opening here. So I can press these things together. Let's do. Maybe in gear will be better. Oh yeah, that will work. I put this piece of wood here because this surface is a sliding surface with another gear. So, not damage. It's going... Yes, success.
that's strange. On this side, my countersink system idea works perfectly fine. And on this side, the little screw doesn't enter. My second gear is now also finished and ready to be installed. But while I was cleaning a little bit all this uh, gearbox system, from nowhere fell out this little ring. So I have no idea where it comes from. But lucky I am, I have a plan. But of course this little ring is not marked on it. So here I will be a little bit on my own. But I'm sure figure it out. Let's uh, The whole thing is assembled and it wasn't too complicated to do and it seems to work just fine. I feel just a little bit a hard spot so it could well be that one of these shafts has a little bit a bend in it. But we'll see if it works. And I think it's time now to fit the covers and to do that of course I need to make new gaskets. So in the beginning of this week I went to the automotive store to buy some gasket paper that they don't have. They can order sheets of gasket paper and it takes uh, several days before they have them and one sheet is one square meter surface and cost over 80 euros and they couldn't tell me exactly the thickness and the quality and so I said no thanks I will find another solution and I did. I went to the local paper store and I bought this 0.7 millimeter thickness light cardboard for not even 3 euros. For two, when I was making my cheap paper gasket here, I was thinking about one detail that could be important. I have to make a new pin for in here, because this one I had to drill it out. Now, literally, I almost forget, but literally I think about it now. Imagine I forget this pin and all the parts fall out. That could be a catastrophic failure. Now, to make a new pin, I will use a piece of a printer. I think that could work.
The whole thing is more or less assembled, except of course the covers. And I set the gearbox in a way that the who made gears are engaged in each other. Of course, off camera I already tried and I tried all the other combinations and it seems to work and I don't have weird noises anymore. So before I do whatever other project now on this machine, first of all I want to put on all the covers again. Because like this it's uh, dangerous. There is a bit a problem with this cover. Normally there are some kind of tabs here on the inside that hooks behind the rim here. But they are broke. So for the moment ah, for the moment there is no way to hold this thing in place. But maybe what I can do is cut off three little pieces of this flat bar and make some taps over here to prevent the thing from sliding off which means I will have to drill in my beautiful new toy here Shoot! That doesn't work. That works. And there is one last little thing I would like to do before I end this video. Alright, and uh, I hope I see you next week.